Hi, welcome to Parametric House. In this tutorial, I want to show you how you can make these uh, 3D models, a series of circles, first radius, and this is a multiplication of the second radius, so you can change that here easily. Uh, how many counts you have, and also extrusion. So this is really simple. And at the end, we can create the solids. If I bake this, this is going to be the final results. So we're going to learn that step by step. Okay, to get started from scratch, what I want to do here is to define two circles. Let's go to the curve and primitive and select circle. I'm going to put that to full name so you can see the inputs. For the plane, I'm going to give a point to that plane. So obviously if I right click and set one point, uh, this is going to be an XY plane because when you give a point to a plane, it's going to assume it's an XY plane. And I'm going to define a radius for this one. Okay, let's name this radius one. And as you can see here, I can change that radius here. I'm going to also make another circle. And in the math, I'm going to multiply the radius with a number between zero and one. Obviously, we can't give zero because it's going to be nothing. So I'm going to say 10% of this radius until we reach 90% with two decimals. And that is going to be whole percentage. So I'm going to say how we can control the whole. So it's always going to be inside the circle and we don't get into problems. And uh, now that we have created those two circles, I'm going to create a series of circles between them by using the curve spline and use this tween curve so let's give that as the curve a and give that to the curve b and for the factor it's a number between zero and one obviously if i give zero it's going to be the biggest circle or the curve a and it goes towards the circle b for that we can simply go to set range by default, the range is between 0 and 1. It's going to create a series of numbers between 0 to 1. We give that here. And steps is going to be the number of circles we need between that. So let's say count. And that is going to be the number of circles we have here. Okay. Now that we have these circles, let me show you by explaining the points. So I'm going to go to the curve, say middle and display point list bake that so i can explain what we're going to do okay first of all what we want here is actually having zero to five being connected together and extruded so we have the base then we need zero to four uh, then we need zero to three and zero to two and until we reach zero to one so what I want to do is to select these circles. First, if I go to the set list item, which is picking, I can pick the first circle because always we have zero. So I'm, I'm having this circle as a curve. So you can see that here. And then I'm going to pick with a series of numbers. So let's go to the sets series. I'm going to give that to the index. It's going to start with five. So where is this five located? Because it's here. I'm going to give that to a number container so I can use that here. Even we can just give that here and then use that to count. Okay. So it's going to start with five. The step is going to go downwards. So I'm going to say minus one. And delete this panel title. Okay, and so it's going to be 5 minus 1 is going to be 4, 3. And how much do you want to repeat that? So obviously it's going to be the number of count we have here. So we will have a series of 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 until we reach the last circle. And we have them all here. It's the circle here. Okay, uh, what we want to do is to connect them together. You can use this surface freeform ruled surface. Give the curve A to here and curve B to this one. And because the first one is one circle and the last are five, it's going to automatically use longest list. So here you can see that we have the base. Then it's obviously going to go, 
go smaller and till the end. Okay. So that's only you have to what you have to do. You don't need graft or flattens or whatever, and you will have base surface. Also, let's move this up. So we will gradually move them up in the Z direction. And this is going to be the amount of extrusion we're going to give. So let's give a series here. You can search for series. It's going to start with a amount for the first one. Obviously, each time we extrude that, it's going to also be the step. So it's going to be for the next counts and this is going to go for the count so what we are doing actually here is that this is the base okay we are moving this sorry the first one was to be zero i think that's i have mistaken this with the how we need here so what we need here is let me explain uh, this is the base we're going to move that zero so that's going to stay down the next one is a little bit smaller and it's going to move based on the thickness we have. So it's T. The next one is going to move towards up two times T. And the smaller one is going to go three times T. Okay. So what it does here is that when we extrude that up, it's going to be the base here. If we look at it from front view, this is going to be the base. Then we have the second one, the third one, and so on. Okay, so that's all you have to do. The first is zero. This is the extrusion. And the count. Okay, now we can extrude it. Surface freeform extrude. And give it a Z. And the amount is going to be the same as this extrusion number. I'll turn this off. If you want to see it, let's just give this a custom preview. And a swatch just for coloring, not really that important, whatever you want. And I also use a you have edge to see the edges better. And that's it. A circle, percentage, count, extrusion. If we want to reverse this one, we can simply right click on the twin and reverse the direction so it goes upwards. So let's make a button here for reversing. I'm going to say set list, reverse the list, and This is the base curves and this is the reversed list. Okay, so what we want to do here is to say select between the first or the reverse one. Uh, we can use the set list weave. This is the reverse list, this is the main, and then you just give a toggle. This is a technique I always use. I use this weave thing to select between zero and one. So this is reverse and whenever you put false it's going to make zero and only give the zero as an output if you put it to true it's going to go one and give only one as an output so i think that's also useful and we are good to go so the circle percentage uh, percentage of the whole number of counts extrusion and the solids can be baked final model so remember that you can always use anything from these uh, two curve inputs and create different results I hope that this tutorial was useful if you want to download this example file you can simply go to the description link uh, or on our website and download it easily and use it in your project maybe you just want to change these inputs and uh, check it out for yourself thanks for watching see you next time bye